You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Let's do the intro. Let's do I the intro that's up top. What we're doing. No, I I know. Oh yeah. But then let's do the whole intro. You started to do it and then just stopped. <laughs> no, I know, but I, let's like I like to be in the moment. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Where were you before? <laughs> I was in a uh, yeah intro land. Dude. <laughs> You're not like, here. Sorry, I just just went on autopilot doing the intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's fun? We just never do the intro up top, so I get like excited we just, when we yeah. get to when we remember. You know, what we I mean? do sometimes with our solo ones. When yeah. it's not a guest. A guest one, we almost always forget. Yeah. Well, we forget a lot with this one. <laughs> anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Tune Babies. I'm Willie Simon. I'm Eric Friedman. Um, if you guys like the show, please uh, rate, subscribe, like all the YouTube <laughs> uh, fucking uh, things people say in the beginning of YouTube videos. And you're um, really on it today. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing the whole thing. You got dates. What are your dates coming up? We're doing these in the beginning now. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm out um, with Craig Conant on the Whoopsie Daisy tour. Uh, we got a bunch of cities coming up next Next up is Syracuse, Albany, Hartford. They're almost all sold out. Get tickets to those ones. And then we're around California for a little bit. I think that's all sold out. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And June will be back out in... Oh, yeah. June uh, 13th and 15th, uh, Arizona. Phoenix Friends. Come to that. I'm doing... Arizona, the, dude. I'm doing the Tempe Improv for my first, like... Book time. I've done guest spots and like other things on it. Hell yeah! But I've never gotten to feature or fuck yeah, post dude. Or like do a proper the home weekend. club, dude. Go yeah. So Friedman goes home. Go check that come out. To that one. Yeah, that'll be sick. Um, I'm in. Uh, I've got a bunch of shows during the Netflix is a Joke Festival here in Los Angeles. Um, it's gonna be. I'm with Steph Tolev in the main room of the Comedy Store. Tumua in the main room of the Comedy Store. I got Laura Peak. At the Improv, um, I'm with Jack Jr. at the Belasco Theater, and I got uh, Mike Falzone surrounded at uh, the Bourbon Room, and then the uh, radio recording also. So fucking any of these, come check them out for the fest. Yeah. It should be good. Those are great ones. You should put a little flyer together thing, do the front, do the like image with you, and then do another slide or something with like that yeah, that's a good idea. So people can. Yeah, can, I like that. Can't see the ones. Yeah, yeah, you can see what it is. He got so many, he started getting kicked off of them. <laughs> I did get kicked off, of you, which sucks. So great. I can't believe that. I was supposed to do the one with you and Craig. I know. I was and so they kicked me off because I have too many. <laughs> no, he can't do it. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, he's over right now. I think he can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I talked to him. He he's said free. yes. I'm like, no, we're not letting. Him. That is so funny that they're like. Restricting the amount of shows people can do on that festival. <laughs> You're like, why, dude? <laughs> so I can do less shows in LA because of this, right? Yeah, now. exactly. I know. I'm an LA What's comic. The... <laughs> like, so I can't go up in Los Angeles. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know. I'm going to Austin for the week, dude. Yeah, dude, that's so I can go do go to a I city should. that I could get up in. That's for what fuck's sake, it's gonna be a rough, <laughs> gonna be a rough week for me. Honestly, I've got yeah. Craig's show, <laughs> yeah. and then and like maybe go to Austin. Honestly. I can. I can <laughs> that might be a good idea. I can go like <laughs> hang out at shows, and maybe someone will put me up. I'm gone the first few days of it. Yeah, we got to pay to get in though, so it's... I'm pretty sure I can get in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lot of pull in this city, <laughs> but I have worked the two major comedy clubs. <laughs> I have yeah, the you can shirts. Least, you can definitely go. Yeah, exactly. You can go to the improv and the store for sure. <laughs> just wear each of the work shirts. And just yeah, yeah. You're just passing out burgers. Like, yeah, I'm allowed to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Eric got in, but he's serving. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, God. This is a bummer. <laughs> he's so funny. Man, see? man, he's really excited for this Seth Rogen table <laughs> read. <laughs> <laughs> so many people have been just making, putting themselves on one of the Netflix a joke flyer just because they're on any sort of show. I know, even not booked through it at all. They're yeah. like, I did it. I'm on it. It's like it just means you're doing a set <laughs> next yeah. month in Los Angeles. Like, yeah, exactly. Los like they have every venue. Like, in, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing those, but it would be funny to see people who are just like actually working the show doing. I'm like, yeah, be a door guy at Netflix is a joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. the comedy store. Come They're... see me. Come see me on the patio. <laughs> I'll be checking IDs. <laughs> Anyone want to drink during the Netflix is a joke fest? Yeah. I do. I, I will, will be, be serving. 
Catch me in the main patio at the comedy <laughs> store. April 8th or May I'll be 8th. looking at the window drinks. wishing I was on the stage. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. <laughs> Could you not get in either? <laughs> Coming out with me outside. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be annoying Mike Falzone for a spot. <laughs> May 8th. <laughs> Mike did put me Come on the last me. one. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch me stealing jokes in the back of the bourbon room. On <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is funny. Well, there's so many comics on it. It's pretty easy to hide that you're not actually on yeah, the no festival. One's, no one's, <laughs> like, no one's check checking. Or anything. It's just one of those things. Like, there's like, like, like 250 yeah. official comics. Like you can sneak in. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be fine. So sick. <laughs> It is cool. I wish they just had festival passes. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can just make yourself a, your own laminate. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the artists get one, so oh. I can go whatever. Oh, nice. Yeah. But no one else can. Like, if you're just a fan of comedy, like, everyone who's, yeah. like, like, if you want to just watch comedy, yeah. then you can't, you have to, like, you have to, like, get into the festival to have it be, like, a festival for you, basically. Okay. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like that's your reward for getting the festival. It's like you get to treat it like a festival. You know what? That seems <laughs> <That's> like <laughs> I think that is what comedy festivals are. Like music festivals, you go and you get your pass and you can go watch all the different stuff going on. Yeah, there's on like three stages. But and... like comedy, especially since it's in so many different venues, like there's nowhere really to just go hang out. Yeah. And each each club can only hold so many people. Yeah, for real. So well, and it's like it's just... Yeah, there's nowhere to kick it. I mean, like at the major club, there's place to hang out, but yeah, Still even then, barely. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's like those are gonna be but full I, of people who are on the shows and shit, like, and like it's gonna be fucking. It's like Moon Tower that just happened in Austin. All of the big comedy festivals, just for laughs, when that was a thing, um, all of those were like more so. It was like, oh, I'm an artist, and it was for the comics to go hang out, and there's mm -hmm. industry and other people going to the shows. But I feel like the passes were still like artist and press and that yeah, sort of thing. That is true. It's never been well, like you can't do like the main stage over here and then another stage for comedy. That's like yeah. you do need a bunch of different venues. Like music can overlap a little bit. Like when you're, it can hear. I can imagine. Yeah, exactly. This hearing Gaffigan and Burr at the same yeah. time, dude. You're just having a fucking aneurysm. Uh, you're like, they did this is it. awful. <laughs> I went to that the Funnier Die one when they used to do it. Um, I can't think of the name of their festival now. It might have just been Funny or Die Festival. Oh, that Oddball? But Oddball. That's yeah, what yeah, it was. Yeah. I went to that. But that was just two stages. It was the main stage where most was going on, and then there was a smaller stage. Yeah, uh, that was like a music comics. festival. And th but it was outside, and then there was like the freak show, and, like people swallowing swords and like that sort of stuff. And then like... Yeah. I think that was about it, honestly. I think it was it's just like cool. those three things. There's no one swallowing swords at this one. Yeah. Man. We gotta get a fucking really a freak night. <laughs> yeah. There's that clown guy who's around town, but I don't know fucking Yeah. I don't know if he's swallowing swords, you know? No, nothing cool like that. Yeah, exactly. What happened to the freaks? You know? We'll get like yeah, we'll get Don just... Barris to do the uh <laughs> do ding dong. <laughs> That'd be funny. That will be get I a bunch mean, of ding dongers on the fucking that will billboards. Be on the festival. <laughs> it, it's on. Is it's it really? still gonna happen? I think on the yeah, Monday, it, probably. I wonder. Because the maybe thing. not though. They might actually pull it. Maybe because yeah, they probably there, have like shows there up there. So many other shows. Yeah, going on. Um, I feel bad. Whoever has to fucking face the wrath of Tennessee Williams after that shit, dude. You're <laughs> fucked. He'll, he'll be there still. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm on... It's Monday. Yeah, the schizo surfer is fucking... There. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean Fahim Anwar and Friends is up right now? <laughs> That'd be the most energy I've ever seen out of that guy. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> he is a calm energy. <laughs> Say what you will on it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty chill schizophrenic guy. <laughs> Not a lot of chill yeah. schizophrenic. You got a bunch guys. of different personalities, but they're all chill. Yeah, they're all fucking cool <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> I, I got that. a surfer. That... I got a stoner. I got a. Fucking, I really lucked out yeah, on, on a my hiker. multiple personalities. <laughs> a yoga instructor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an ayahuasca shaman. <laughs> I'm an ayahuasca. <laughs> all my personalities are fucking super chill. 
No, he's a surfer right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? He's a yeah, yeah. He's surfing. That's how I know. You ever see that movie with the where that guy kidnaps the girls and he has like thirty eight personalities? Oh yeah, yeah. It's that movie, but they're all chill. But they're all chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead of monsters. Hey, you guys can leave whenever you want, man. <laughs> but first, you gotta smoke this bong. Oh, he switched. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, fuck. he switched. <laughs> hey, we're all going surfing now. <laughs> yeah. oh, he's doing it again. Oh, he switched again. <laughs> Everyone just open sit your down third and, eye yeah, with yeah. this meditation. Take your <laughs> oh god, take it's your sandals off. Put your feet on the ground connect again <laughs> <laughs> hey, am i allowed up? to leave or not <laughs> hey what's up i'm your friend's cool older brother you want to play some video games <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah that uh i don't think there has been chill schizophrenics that sounds yeah right never see like Why homeless people yeah. Like he takes a big shit on the ground. He's like, "Sorry, man, that was pretty crazy." I, don't know why. <laughs> I mean, regular personalities are like all over the place now. Why can't a a multiple personality though be a calm one? Why can't you ever? Yeah, yeah. How come you can't fucking you can break into, into a few different? Yeah. yeah. Is it is it because there's a war going on in your mind? So there has to be like, yeah, the winner has to be pretty aggressive, probably. Yeah. If you're fighting for supremacy, yeah, that's why it's like alpha male, uh, alpha. Uh, yeah. The personality is never like, hey, man, we all talked, and uh, this guy's the coolest, I think. <laughs> we'll just have him up front. Just put them in charge, yeah. <laughs> the rest of us, we we need help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just going to stand back, <laughs> let this person drive for a while. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if... I feel, like, uh, I feel like some of the stuff I've heard about like ketamine, that's kind of what it is, though. Or it's not. It's not like letting the best person drive. It's like sitting to the side and and watching someone else drive, though. What, like doing ketamine? Yeah, I've done ketamine and it uh, it didn't you feel did like ketamine. Yeah, once at like a party. At a party, yeah. Yeah, it's not the right way to do ketamine. <laughs> what? A, what's the right way to do it? Like you're a horse and you're in surgery. <laughs> yeah, you're a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I can see, I can see that being the right way to do it. But yeah, well, I feel like it was. Um, I feel like you were also chill. drunk and like yeah, exactly. High, like yeah, could you even know what? The, did you even notice what the ketamine was doing? It was like I felt like uh, like definitely like disassociated a little bit. Where mm-hmm. you're like, I do see what you mean. Where it's like someone else is driving, yeah. but it's never like uh, I haven't done it. Yet. Never That's like fucking like what was told about. out of control. Yeah, it's just like uh, you're just like all right now I'm fucking. Calmer. Yeah, I heard like it's like I didn't like it. It wasn't fun. For really? Me. Some people well, I love mean, it. And I, just, I didn't like it. I, I definitely don't think you're supposed to do it with a ton of other stuff. It's not supposed to be a cocktail of yeah. drugs. Well, that's with, like, when it, are you, what else are you going to do ketamine? I'm not going to be like <laughs> fucking, all right, 9.30, stone sober time yeah. for my line of ketamine. Yeah. Like, you're I mean, like, no, dude. Some... <laughs> I'm, gonna be five, I'm five beers deep. Someone gives me a bump of ketamine. I'm like, yeah, yeah fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking. I'm drunk. <laughs> it's not like yeah, only it's never an form. intentional. Yeah, you're not supposed to do. I mean, <laughs> anything in bump form. Yeah, you're doing it with multiple other things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're not fucking like. Sorry, I'm just taking my vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it mixed up again. I forget now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all all of them are white once they become powder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do. You can get into like K holes. Yeah, which is like that's when you do a ton and you're like fucking just freaking out. Yeah. That's, that's like a, that's where you're sitting there in like the back seat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or you're like a car behind, <laughs> like fucking honking. Yeah, you're like, Drive, at yourself. Go. <laughs> this guy's not fucking moving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean it's me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just gotta sit back here and deal with my past problems now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's my fault that the car's not moving. Yeah. Like, ketamine isn't, like, a drug in comedy circles at all, either. It's, like, a party, like, rave drug. You know what I mean? Like yeah. It's, when I did it, it was at this, like, DJ's house, and there was a bunch of, like, EDM friends and stuff. Yeah. So it was, like, fucking... Like, you'd never see that at the, at the store. You know what I mean? No, no. It's more of a therapy drug now. Yeah. Yeah, they do That's use it for, like, fucking... It. Yeah, yeah. What what disease is it for, though? Is it just for, like, fucking... I think it's for mental for, like, health like, ADHD? Issues. Yeah, but like what kind? Like uh like chill fucking schizophrenia or like what kind of <laughs> mental health fucking I don't know. Craig just did it at the uh with a doctor at like a university out when we were in Austin. Did it at a university? Yeah. They're like they're 
you know, learning stuff about it and whatnot. Craig's doing drug is, studies. Yeah, drug studies. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, sign me up. <laughs> this is what I was born for, honestly. There's a... <laughs> I have a That's few so skills. Funny. Lab rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of them. I'm totally sober, unless it's for testing. Well, what's funny, too, because they're like, <laughs> we tried to get it so I could go, too, and they're like, oh, it's going to take, like, all day. They're like, we just don't have the time and all this other stuff. And I was like, just let me do some of the drugs in the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the so hell? Some fucking ketamine. I'm like, you don't got to study me or do anything else with me. Just let me have some of the drugs. <laughs> 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 universities are bullshit yeah i can't get into a drug study at a university <laughs> honestly dude that sounds like a guy that's not like a guy who wants the drug for himself yeah. <laughs> that's every guy i've ever fucking talked to yeah like hey i'd love to smoke some weed it's like ah, it's gonna take a lot of time man it's gonna be- <laughs> <laughs> we gotta set a lot of stuff up it's gonna be tough <laughs> that guy that guy just wants to smoke more weed yeah. that piece of shit <laughs> He's holding out on you, dude. Heroin's really the only drug that takes a lot of time to do. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything else pretty quick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just tell me you don't want me yeah. there. <laughs> you're, you're chopping that up with an EBT card. <laughs> I think you have time for me. <laughs> <laughs> EBT card doesn't work anymore, but these drugs are going to kick in quick. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Time constraints and all. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like a bad excuse to, like, for someone like not <laughs> wanting to share drugs. <laughs> I've been cool. I, I've I been, give you drugs. I got to pick up my mom in an hour, though. It's not gonna be- I've been like uncool <laughs> enough where people haven't like invited me to the drug circles or that sort of thing. But I've never just been turned down once I know where it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. Also, at a university, like with like Delta yeah, Kappa you're not, Phi. You're not smart <laughs> enough to do these drugs. Yeah. It's not even a study. It's just he's at a frat house. <laughs> <laughs> We're technically at the university, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is the university's uh this test, parameters. Hey, let's see if we can give this guy a fucking ton of ketamine until he passes out. <laughs> How much ketamine can he do until he passes out? Yeah. That's the experiment. Is <laughs> there a donkey around when you were doing ketamine? I mean, just like <laughs> a keg. <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to find a new date rape drug, so we're testing it on <laughs> Craig. <laughs> Sound fun. They said next time I'm out there, I can come come through and do it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. What university in Austin was it? Um, I don't remember. Yeah, I was going to say, that's like the big one, right? UT? Yeah. Yeah. That's how you know it, it wasn't a real university. Yeah. <laughs> now it was a uh, University of Aust- University of Phoenix Austin campus. <laughs> Craig's yeah. just fucking doing lines in a fucking waiting room. <laughs> just give you ketamine and then try and get you to sign for a bunch of loans. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just using this to like steal identities, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, you get free drugs. It's cool. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder what they were testing. That is like, she's not like finding out. Like, well, what was the, the test, therapy you know? stuff on it? The, the oh, way yeah. I heard oh, it's the, the way I heard about it on all that stuff was Neil Brennan. He, cause he promoted it on his, one of his specials. Fucking talk about doing drug it, peddling piece of good. shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Saying it was like one of the first, I think it was one of the first things that worked or almost worked. And then he went to ayahuasca and from, okay. from, Craig and various other people and the little bit that I've gathered and heard it's kind of ayahuasca light you know really yeah whoa my friend did ayahuasca he said he saw the snake god yeah yeah I'm like, I've light. never got, okay, yeah, like real light <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well this was like I'm never like Diet you know, Coke I'm like this is like I know Diet Coke is still a little bit Coke I've never yeah. got like I've never I, I've only done ketamine once, well, but the one time I did it, it was same. like <laughs> not yeah. the same thing actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But still, I was like, Jesus. it was more so like 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 a rocket ship and rollerblades are both methods of transportation. <laughs> 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 yeah, I feel that they both can get you somewhere <laughs> at much different speeds. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, that makes sense. Because my buddy did ayahuasca, and it was like, it like changed him as a person. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. And like gonna, fucking. I'm going to go do it, I think. Yeah? Yeah. I want to do it. My buddy said we got to, he wants to fly to Colombia and do it in like the woods. Like yeah. in the jungle in Colombia. There are I'm some like, cool places to oh, go That sounds fucking sick, dude. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to go to a country I don't speak the language. Yeah. And, and then there's do places out here. Mind altering fucking crazy shit. You know, like, do it here just a, a couple hours outside of town and stuff. Yeah. I think that's That'd be cool. I'll go do it. Okay. Yeah. 
I think so. The whole thing is you have to have in your mind like what you have to have intentions when you go into it. I did that once. I did DMT when yeah. my, with uh, with Chino, and it was fucking uh, um, it was the same thing. It was like come in with a question, and I was okay. like, I was like, what's the afterlife like? I was like, well, I want to know what comes next. <laughs> yeah. And then I hit this DMT pen, and my fucking ceiling gets all like fractally. And this voice comes in my head, and it was like, if you like to find out the answers you're seeking, like you have to kill yourself. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I was like, I don't want to kill myself. And they're like, <laughs> and they're like, well, and then I was sober. And I was like, that was the worst drug I've ever done in my life, dude. That was awful. DMT <laughs> sucks. <laughs> they, they didn't answer your question at all. No. They're like, I know that was a way to find out the <laughs> yeah, answer. Yeah. <laughs> I did DMT, and then a voice told me to kill myself. <laughs> and then I woke up. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like this, is the worst fucking, this is the worst time I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Should ask a better. I wonder if it, it does any question like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. I'd be like, what's, uh, what's the meaning of life? You gotta kill yourself. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> what happens at the end of Harry Potter? Yeah. Well, you gotta, you kill, gotta yourself. kill yourself. To find out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what question should I this ask? This drug sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Will I ever find love? Kill yourself. Kill yourself. What Just didn't do you it. get from the last five <laughs> times you've done this? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I don't think yeah. I don't think it answers your questions. I <laughs> yeah. think it just kill, tells you to kill yourself. I don't think this is a voice. I think this is me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to kill myself. What do you I mean you gave me sugar on. pills this last time? They're <laughs> 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 like, yeah, you were having a lot of issues. We <laughs> we were shocked, honestly. <laughs> we had to know for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You only have one voice in your head, and it's not chill at all. <laughs> <laughs> it is violent towards you, specifically. <laughs> yeah, none of us were worried. I mean, a little bit for your own safety, but not... <laughs> we're all just kind of sitting here watching. <laughs> yeah, there's crazier stuff than, uh, than ayahuasca and all that sort of stuff, too. There's a... It's called a boga. Is a a, a a boga or iboga? It's like a tree bark in Africa or something. Whoa. That's supposed to be the... Are you thinking of Ebola, the disease? <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> eats you from the inside and <laughs> also gives you the answer to life or something. <laughs> I want to do the, uh, the the mad honey. Mad honey. Oh, you heard yeah. about that in like Nepal? They got crazy bees. They, they, they have bees that make like fucking uh, like psilocybin honey. Whoa. Where you like eat honey and you fucking fry dick, dude. It's crazy. Damn, that sounds cool. No, I don't know if I've heard of that one. Yeah. And you're like, why is it such a spiritual place in Nepal? It's like they're eating fucking mushroom <laughs> yeah. honey all the goddamn day. <laughs> no wonder they're like, all bald and dressed the same. <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be a good, I bet there's a good drug map of like places to go that all have things like that. Yeah. Cause there's, it sounds like there's multiple things. Cause then there's like, you know, the toads. There's the fucking. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, you ever uh, cacti? Did you hear about kids licking toads ever? Yeah, I never had that. Thing. But that's a, but it's a specific one, and it's I don't know where it is or whatever. But it, there is okay. one that does it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's just, uh, <laughs> or just kids just licking or toads. Kid, yeah. Or they're already on they drugs, us. and they're like, "Let's lick some fucking toads." Yeah. And they told other kids, they're like, "No, I licked a toad. That's why I'm high as fuck." <laughs> yeah. And they're like, "I took acid." <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. I just didn't want to give away the <laughs> yeah. rat out my drug dealer to the school. <laughs> like giving oregano to someone instead of weed. Yeah. You're like, no, trust me, it works. Yeah. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what. Like this toad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got a guy to lick a toad. <laughs> yeah. What an idiot. That's like fucking, I've never wanted to do drugs that bad. Where I'm yeah, like, just, let's get some fucking toads. Yeah. <laughs> and put them in our mouths. You chug its asshole or something? Like, no, what are you doing? Why are you, no one said to do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. The, good, the real good shit's in the anal glands. <laughs> yeah, you think the outside the toad's good. Yeah. Inside. <laughs> you gotta suck the tadpoles out. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I don't know what drugs. Listen, man, yeah, trying to... I think I need to get sober. <laughs> <laughs> this, I don't know what rock bottom is, but this feels like rock bottom. <laughs> it's like past it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> this feels you worse reach... than like sucking dick for crack. Yeah, you reach <laughs> new depths. Sucking <laughs> tadpoles for acid. This is way worse. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I should go back to college. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're gonna let me in. <laughs> yeah. 
least they had regular acid in college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just here for the normal drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went down a dark path after. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to college, not to get a degree or anything. I yeah. just want regular, do regular drugs college again. drugs again. <laughs> I'm sick of sucking tadpoles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they do the dare program. They're like this guy's speaking. Uh, he's here to talk to the kids. He's like, I was on the fucking pond sucking tadpoles. <laughs> I was under a lily pad for days, <laughs> sucking tadpoles out of frog pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> like, are we still talking about drugs? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'll, I wouldn't even smoke weed. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I started smoking weed, and then I was sucking tadpoles out of frog pussies. <laughs> that sounds way scarier than, <laughs> hey, you're going to do coke one day or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> get a fucking real, get a real fear of these kids. Yeah. Yeah. Give me something to truly be scared of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was in a bog. You ever been to a bog? (laughs) Is the D.A.R.E. program still going on? They have to update by now if they are trying to scare the kids. Yeah, they must have updated it. The the kids are like, we've already done. I don't know any kids. Yeah. I just realized I don't have any. That's probably good. Yeah, it is probably good. I'm I'm happy about that. Shouldn't know a lot of kids. Shouldn't know any kids. Yeah. No. I know my nephew. Let me ask my seven-year-old friend (laughs) (laughs) if he's still doing dare. (laughs) Hey, little buddy. I don't have any. Yeah. Hey, bud. (laughs) You doing dare? Your nephew or a friend's kid or something? No, just met him one day. Have they taught you not to talk to me yet? (laughs) (laughs) No? All right. I guess they're not doing dare. (laughs) Met him online. Oh, you met him online? Oh. No, we're playing video games. That's where you... Whoa. That's that's where kids are. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's Call of Duty, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I've been online playing games, like multiplayer games, and kids start talking. I'm like, I got to mute everything I can. I know, dude. <laughs> yeah. I do the same thing. I'm like, oh, no. I don't even play, I don't like, play I multiplayer play games game. anymore. <laughs> I play like single player games where there's no yeah. no children can reach me. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, fucking, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm playing Fallout, dude. I'm like, no fucking kids here, dude. Not even in the game. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a baby at nice some point. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I haven't seen him in days. <laughs> Just a bunch of adults you can kill. <laughs> That's what I like in a video game. <laughs> Don't end up on some weird side quest accidentally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is crazy seeing like fucking because I was one of those kids when I was younger. Yeah, on like I didn't Online. think I was, but it was like you know I was like thirteen, telling people yeah, to kill like, themselves, like fucking, yeah, <laughs> like just fucking, just an animal. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> you should kill yourself, you little fucking pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> my friends all dying laughing at it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we did that a bunch on like Counter Strike and stuff. Yeah, and... yeah, mine was Modern Warfare. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking the first the first games that were like open mic. Yeah, and he's like I can talk to everyone. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> everyone in here right now can hear yeah. me. <laughs> they designed it. They were like, everyone will be able to like work as a team. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna in- install this feature. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Everyone's like, you fucking homo. <laughs> and some people did. Some people worked as teams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to get to get a guy to kill good. himself. <laughs> <laughs> We worked as a team. It's like, as in my friend would be like, you should kill yourself. And I was like, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I I think all the bullying and stuff started like when it got into the the limelight of we need to stop bullying. I feel like it was the online. Yeah. The online stuff that got. Yeah. It got pretty crazy. Because like because you can just facelessly fucking tell kids that they're worthless. It was. Yeah. It's it's insane. In person (laughs) bullying (laughs) never went nearly as far or wouldn't last as long someone was gonna get beat up yeah that oh, was yeah. about the end of it i think Torio's outside Torio, so. cool yeah. all good oh no he's five minutes out he'll be here soon okay all right but yeah it's- i think like uh bullying like it almost like it will we got it out of our system online yeah you know what i mean so we'd come to school and it'd be like what's up dude 
hey, there's that fucking freaky kid who might shoot up the school. We were like, what's up, man? Yeah. I already, I've fucking yelled at my friends already for like Meanwhile, days. Meanwhile, they're getting bullied by someone in, in another state. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have no idea the battle someone's going through against someone from Tulare. <laughs> Dude, speaking of... All right, your toys outside. Um... Guys, we're going to end the episode here. We got another one coming uh, next yeah. week with uh, Toro Van Grohl, um, the the funny fucking comic from the Bay Area. Yeah. Um, Hesby, Hesby Street, Street Podcast, all the fucking Joke things. Off live show. Yeah. That's awesome if you're in L.A. Yeah. Uh, hilarious comic who's on the road now. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to go get him and start the other one. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Love you guys.